What is up, YouTube? We're back with another YouTube video, and I'm really hyped to be making this video because today we got the attack map for the new Resurgence map, and it's pretty hype. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of excited for it. But just to set the scene, basically, yesterday at the time of recording this Monday night, we were told attack map reveal tomorrow, Resurgence returns. And the video they uploaded really wasn't anything too special. It was like sand with a metallic ball rolling around making lines and stuff. And then this is what we got at the end. And fast forward to today when they revealed it. Here is the map. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven POIs. And uh, just to list off the POIs, we have farms, residential, shipwreck, castle, town center, beach club and port and i'm not gonna lie i like the look of the map uh as of right now in the overhead view on the tack map there's just so much that my eyes can like gravitate towards especially with the cherry blossom trees and stuff that we can see here on the map i love the colors to be honest looking at it uh looking at castle castle is a world at war map that was remade i know recently in vanguard that didn't really get much play i believe but uh it's not a multiplayer map because a lot of people were saying castle's gonna be a multiplayer map it's actually here as kind of the hub central main poi of the new resurgence map and i mean we're gonna look at some pictures later but this is pretty cool looking at it Right off the bat, Farns looks like an interesting POI because of these buildings, especially with how close they are next to each other. Uh, it's definitely interesting. And another thing that grabs my attention down here is Beach Club because of, again, there's a big building. We have some open areas, it looks like, and then another building. And this little ramp that goes off or a bridge that goes off to this little circular thing. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Shipwreck looks like it might have you know shipping containers that fell off the ship so there's just a lot going on residential was also the first thing my eyes gravitated towards and i mean just look at the buildings we have here we have one two three four five six buildings all within you know running distance of each other so this is pretty cool and yeah port looks like an interesting one along with uh this little water area here you can see there's kind of like i don't want to call these bridges but kind of like blockers i guess but the shape of them to me is interesting because kind of here you have like this l shape slash corner one but this one drifts off and it's more further than that one and i don't know it's interesting because there's a lot of water here obviously so i'm assuming boats might be useful for like going around the map and stuff uh there's no water that's directly like going to the middle that you can go multiple ways it's mainly for the outer edges of the map but this is pretty cool i'm assuming this is like a dam area here where water might be going down or you know what to be honest this is probably the tunnel that we're going to see later on now that i look at it but there's the pois and let's take a look at some of the pictures they posted so here's castle and again love the tree design here uh, it's something new, to be honest. When you play Almazra, there's really just a lot of sand and, uh, you know, running around. The color difference really isn't that noticeable. And that's not a knock on the map, to be honest. I don't hate Almazra, but looking at a uh, castle, it's a good change of, you know, visual effects kind of thing. You know, when you're on castle, you know that you're here. You're like, okay, look, the trees are the cherry blossom trees they look cool you know look at the architecture of the castle building it looks really cool so i really like that it really helps give it its own identity which i think is a positive positive. and one thing i want to make note of in the twitter post they made where they uploaded this image they say infiltrate quickly past the tower's defenders reach the hidden space so in those kind of three mini sentences that they posted we pretty much have what we believe is some type of ai defending this maybe i don't know there's a secret here that we're gonna have to uncover when we get our hands on the map uh it makes me wonder in dmz like obviously this is gonna be a very protected area with ai everywhere i mean there's ai everywhere in dmz to begin with but here i'm assuming this is where we're gonna get weapon cases where we're gonna 
you know, probably have a lot of AI. Maybe it might be a black site or a stronghold. I don't know how they'll uh, choose what is what. But the reach the hidden space is very interesting because in the hashtags, all they used is Warzone 2 and Resurgence Returns. Nowhere were they implying DMZ at all. So it makes me wonder if there's some type of hidden slash easter egg whatever that we're going to be able to obtain somewhere throughout this castle so that's interesting moving on from that we have town center and you know i immediately from looking at this i get like just black ops 2 vibes from it i like the look of it it also reminds me of uh call of duty cold war or black ops cold war the outbreak map that was i think it was called sanatorium and it kind of had like kind of a system like this on the edge. I don't know if you played it, then you probably know what I'm talking about. But if not, this is just reminding me of Sanatorium from Cold War uh, Outbreak Zombies. And I think it was also in Ground War, or I think it was called Team Dirty Bomb was their Ground War type game. So this is pretty cool. Again, I love the aesthetic here with the buildings and you have the pink from the tree. Again, looking here... You can kind of see the POI. So you can see Castle it looks like it's elevated on a hill slash mountaintop area. Here you can see some cool building with lights on it that are flashing. Who knows if we'll have like dynamic events going on where maybe there's an emergency going on here and like AI will spawn or whatever. Knowing how they love to like throw AI into Warzone. Uh, here you can see farms with like the blue buildings, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I just love the scenery. I like the look and it's really different compared to Almaz or in terms of a bunch of sand and like visually just being a little more modern, I think in my opinion. So that's pretty damn cool if you ask me. So we move on over here to Beach Club and this is again another cool POI I like the colors you got a blue building maybe there's like a pool in there there's a pool around somewhere obviously it's near water so there's water here um if you notice here there's like a dive board I think that's what that is and here we have kind of like some blockers railing whatever they're called and assuming you can stand on these because like they work on both sides there's a left and a right so you can probably jump on the middle you might be able to mount on this. I don't know what the deal with that is, but uh, we have that. Here we have a bridge that goes off to like this circular little, uh, I don't even know if that's a bar, possibly some type of lounge area, but it reminds me from Call of Duty World at War, that one multiplayer map that was, uh, if you played World at War, it was, I think the first mission where they're, I think they're torturing somebody and you break out it's that map if you know what i'm talking about uh it reminds me of that little circular hut type building that was there but again i also want to point out the little destroyed area here because if you remember playing rebirth uh in one of the pois before uh they built a building on it it was actually just rubble and there used to be like a buy station that could spawn there sometimes and i remember like fighting people trying to use the buy and call loadouts because there was no cover there it was just broken rubble just like that so maybe in the future we get a new poi placed over here or something like that but these buildings over here too they remind me a lot of caldera to be honest with like the layout and the way they look so that's you know that's kind of scaring me but i'm not too scared i'm not too worried about it moving on from here we have this underground water area and Call of Duty actually tweeted this image out and said underground waterway. And what they go around is it looks like the bridge over here and another area that you can drift off to the left. And again, this reminds me a lot from the campaign from if you played it, spoiler alert, like Laswell at one point gets uh, captured by the enemy forces or whatever on a boat and you kind of like sit in a room or an area like this and you basically like watch her get abducted or whatever and this just reminds me of something like that or the scenario that it played out in, in like an underground rocky area with like a tunnel that goes out so this is cool to be honest 
I'm not a fan of Fortune's Keep with how they had the underground and top, uh, you know, top area where you can fight. Because, like, when the circle would go there, it was like, okay, I'm on the top, but the enemy team is at the bottom. So who's going to be the first one? Who's going to wait for the circle to go? You know, that type of scenario. So I'm, I like to keep the fighting on, you know, uh, even basis i guess that's what i'm trying to say like even ground but to have a bottom area like this filled with water and then a top area above it assuming whatever is above it is accessible if not it's just one big building that you can't go in but with it being warzone i doubt that or for all we know this might be above castle but i don't think so because of the area around it but that's gonna end up doing it for all the information we have now i figured i'd make this video just to showcase at least the new poi the new map kind of get my thoughts out about it i don't think by any means it's horrible like this isn't gonna make me quit like playing caldera or play quit playing wars on like caldera kind of made me did but i'm really hyped because again when season two comes out a lot of warzone changes are going to come out for example we can play and run at the same time. Buy station and prices are going to be adjusted. So I'm interested to see how Resurgence is going to play out. Especially since, you know, now it's you can be more aggressive. Because, you know, as long as you don't team wipe. Or as long as your whole team doesn't wipe at the same time. You're always going to have that timer that's going to allow you to spawn your other teammates in. So I'm really hyped and really excited for this. Let me know down in the comments if you feel the same way. Do you have any other concerns, maybe things that I didn't mention or things that I overlooked? I really want to start a conversation down there, so drop a comment and just let me know. Like the video and ring the bell so you don't miss another video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.